Our association has been there for four decades. When I talk about wood, I talk about chloralkali plants. It is nothing but a chlorine and caustic soda. And these two chemicals are very corrosive. And if you remember the technical experts who are here, about four decades back or three decades back, we had tremendous corrosion problem. Those days, importing exotic material was very, very difficult. It was license raj. And to get an import license, to weld these uh, pipes here or equipment here was extremely difficult. And then came the a very young entrepreneur on the scene. He was having a good job in Calico. Like those technocrats those days were happy to have a job, look for career, hold positions. And we were told those days that by elders that don't regret the past, don't worry about future, think of today and be happy. But he didn't want that. He was thinking beyond tomorrows and day after tomorrows. He was thinking of plastic, which was his passion. Having studied in UK, he knew what plastic could do to India. Mr. Rajpura saw a great demand, but how do you start? Start with mere merged 10,000 rupees the industry. Struggled all the way through getting the imported chemicals, resins, welding them. It has been a long struggle and we saw it. To be an entrepreneur now is easy. To be an entrepreneur at 60, especially for technocrat, was extremely difficult. How do you get entry into business? People want references. You're going into a new field. He had a nice theory, as I feel, for what I saw him for the last three decades. Nothing succeeds like success. success. He entered the industry with a small order to gain the confidence to make a small pipe, to make a small equipment. There are no standards for design of FRP equipment. Metal equipment we know. We have ASMEs, we have Dean. And he had to convince from his knowledge why this tank will stand. How can you take these small pressures? How can the flow be achieved in the pipe? All he could do with his technical ability, people started getting confidence. After getting the small order, he will demonstrate it. Confidence builds up, he gets a bigger order, so the success follows. And that he has done, demonstrated continuously over years. And last I would like to say, he is a role model for all young engineers who can become entrepreneurs and take the advantage of the next industrial revolution. My association with Rajpuraji is around 50 years of the age. And the first zinc smelter we built in 1966 in India, in Udaipur. And at that time, you must be knowing there was hardly any skill of inter entrepreneurship or industry running. And we built a plant which was imported from France of Hindustan zinc. Even nuts and bolts were brought from their side. And it was a running a plant with electrolyte, surface and vapor electrolyte, highly corrosive. We don't know how to even run in those days the water. How can we run the electrolyte and acidic material? So, and all this structure was steel or concrete lead line. There was always the confusion, leakages, stoppages, production was stopped. Then we need somebody to innovate some material by which this corrosion can be stopped. And I came across to Bhaksingji in those 60s and I found him a learned, educated engineer on the line, motivated to take the risk, interested to do the job, and designed first lounder. You must be hearing and laughing today. What is a lounder? Any, any Tom Dick Aaron can do. But think after 50 years back, what is a lounder means? He developed a lounder with fiberglass, replaced those lead line vessels, and it's working even now from that time.
the life of the plant started here. We expanded that plant in 70s, that 70s. We were using those electrolyte cooling vessels, electrolyte cooler they call it. We imported it from the Belgium in those days in 73 at six, seven lakhs rupees, a vessel of fiberglass with a fan. We again call him, okay, here is the thing you built in your own company, in your CPE. So he took the copy, we arranged his visit to the Hemen Salvico in Belgium. He visited the area, put the drawings, and started making out. He built it and he designed the rotor of fan and fence which is not corroded now even. Let me tell you another story in the uh, 80s. All these electrolysis plants, whether it's a copper or lead or zinc, they were a sale house, electrolysis process. All sales were made of concrete. And these concretes were lead line. And lead lines were leakage and the, the life of the sale was hardly three years, four years. We place an order to Tech Corporation Canada, Cominco, for buying a technology on lead electrolysis. And there the concrete cell was made of a material which doesn't require a lining. I took Waxenji with me, let us go to Canada. We went there, he studied it, got the drawing from there. He said he will prepare a prototype cell in his workshop and give me a chance to study it in its site in Debari. So he developed a resin, which is acid proof, is a binder, grit and sand, inert sand and grit, he got it from basalt in your western guards, basalt, and prepared a concrete cell. He made two, we tried it, and today in India, everywhere the cells are made out of not concrete, which is required lead lining, but it's all a simple concrete of this inert material and no lead line is required. In that process, I can tell you, because of her inter his entrepreneurship, his ability to do some business in form of innovative work, Hindustan Zing saved a lot of money in terms of maintenance and operation. And that credit goes to this one man who is doing the job. I am grateful to my institute, UDCT, now known as ICT, which gave me knowledge of high polymer technology, which gave me a vision to go abroad and do chemical engineering, which supported me throughout my career in the field of chemical engineering and plastic technology. Similarly, I got the support from IIT, in the structural designs and calculations since there were no standards available at that time and we have to work from the very basic principle in either chemical engineering, high polymer or structures. So I owe to these two institutions the success of this company. I tell you a very small story. I started business and I've introduced to Power Gas Corporation at that time by Mr. Basu of Humphreys and Glasgow. And they had a job of PVC ducting for main baker. I went and gave a quotation to them of 3,000 rupees labor charge. After one week, I again went there to follow up. Gopal Krishna told, you are not getting the order because you are very low, you don't know what the job is. And don't go to Mr. Menon, even his recommendation, I'll not give you the job. I went back. After 15 days, he again called me. This time there was scrubber, imported from UK for main baker, and this was damaged in the port. He told me to repair. I repaired that. He asked me what is the cost of this. I calculated this was 500 rupees. I quoted 1000 rupees. He said this is correct. <laughs> he gave me 1000 rupees. 
That scrubber was inspected by a residential engineer, Mr. Nesbitt from UK. He went to Manon and he told Mr. Manon, Mr. Manon, there is a boy who knows how to do the job, but does not know how to coat. You should call him. They called me. Gopal Krishna called me. Karaj, you coat again. So I had a calculation of 500 to 1000. So I quoted 3000 to 6000. Gopal said, now you're half of what you should be. I quoted 12,000. I did the job. He called me again. Raj, this would have been the price for an experienced fabricator. You are new. Have you made any loss? I said, no, no, sir. If I don't count my salary, I made 3,000 rupees profit. And he was very happy. Now tell me, is it a business? Is it a vendor and a purchaser relationship? Something beyond. Something higher. This incident has really made me quite different. And I decided that people can be so nice, so fair. There is a scope of being not fair to everybody in the world. I learned everything from you people. I had relations with LNT from my college days. I went to LNT for a factory visit. In the workshop, I saw one slogan. It was very clear it in front of the workshop. Small things make perfection. Perfection is not a small thing. What is simple, but it conveyed everything. I tried to keep all detail very, very minutely and do the job. I think I tried to be a good instrument and you played very well on it and produced good music out of this. Raat jitni hi sangeen hogi, subah utni hi rangeen hogi. Raat bahut sangeen thi, very difficult time, every day was difficult. But today's reward is much more than the efforts which I put in. Thank you once again very much. And I conclude my prayer for all of us. Sarve bhavantu sukhina, sarve santu niramaya, sarve bhadrani prashchantu, maat prashchituk bhag bhavet, haryom tatsat, haryom tatsat, haryom tatsat.